Hola a todos, bienvenidos a Chulip Barista Academy. Soy Santiago y hoy vamos a estar explorando una nueva tienda de café que va a estar abriendo aquí en Adelaide. Uh, hoy nos acompaña Vincent, quien está, uh, quien está asesorando la parte de café y él nos mostrará parte del proceso. Eh, la, la tienda aún no está abierta, están, en todo, están haciendo el proceso de abrir, por lo que va a estar un poco desorganizada pero vamos a aprender a cómo se abre aquí un negocio y bueno, vamos a ver cómo este negocio crece a través del tiempo. Así que acompáñenme. Vale, um, este café que tenemos aquí es tostado por ellos mismos, es un blend de Brasil, uh, es un tueste un poco más bajo, Déjales nuestro Bueno, como les decía, ese café es un tueste un poco más bajo, por lo que el espresso tiende a ser un poco más ácido. Uh, lo ideal es que cuando se utilizan todo este de café bajo en la preparación del espresso, es que eh, la extracción sea más rápida para que no quede muy ácido y obviamente no corte la leche. Ocurre bastante que todo este de café bajo, cuando se mezcla con leche de almendra o de soya o de avena, eh, tiende a como a cortar la leche, por lo que generalmente para tipos de para vías de espresso se utilizan tuestes medios o medio altos que brindan un mayor, una mayor textura, mejor sabor, pero pues estos son muy buenos para personas que les gusta tomar café negro o café oscuro, que simplemente agua y espresso. Así que vamos a estar probando este café y otro blend. Uh, Vincent necesita 150 gramos, así que hagamos, obtengamos eso. Ya. So, one thing is the difficulty of when you're selling a new recipe with new copies. Yeah, yeah. You always have to deal with the client size. Because okay, some so of you being in terms of density yeah, and uh, gross profile, all they will behave differently. So the grind size matters a lot. When you, when you change you know, it to a new you know, bean, then you have to tweak the grind size. Oh, Sometimes so it takes quite a while to figure it out you know, you the, the right grind size for the right grain temperature, the grain process. So. We're starting from 20.5 and uh, so from there we're going to see if it's giving us something in here. So obviously, no, right, we you run very quick, oh, so the grind size is two quarts, and uh, so the grain time is too low. Inside, so remember that we're talking yeah, about a new machine good. with new coffee yeah. beans yes. and a recipe that is not set yeah, up yet. Yeah. So in, now I'm going to have to go final and it might increase the yield as well. How many grams was that? So I was doing 20.5. 20.5. Uh, the main yeah. So now what I'm doing is when we go finer, just to increase the, the time of extraction. So I'm gonna grind a little bit, and when I'm grinding, I'm gonna go finer. So I'm not damaging the birds. So, because the ground size wasn't right, I don't need to use that ground. 
I'm going to dump it. And we're going to just make sure we are getting rid of the uh, old big grind size. And now we're trying again. Let me see. It's quite light. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of cups. <laughs> okay. So we try to get it a double as double. So the small one is this one. Whoa. That's good, huh? It's tight. We're in the target, we're in the target, we're at 24 seconds. 26, 30 seconds. Uh, Whoa. We could yeah. 30.3. Yeah, I think if you make it finer, it's gonna stop between 30. No bad. I would make it at least finer and that will that will dump it. And so Sugar. Two tannins, some stone fruits, apricot. What do you think? I would increase the increase the time. I think it's the taste of the plum. It's the taste of the West Butter. You gotta explain it. You said Sultana, so I don't know how that is. I gotta explain that. She was playing Spanish. Tastes like Sudas. <laughs> Básicamente utilicé un bucket, utilicé un, un, un contenedor que habían utilizado para, para hacer la plomería de la máquina. Entonces, solamente el café, eché el café ahí y bien se, se puso molesto. ¿Qué quieres hacer? ¿Qué? 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 I'll do 20. I want to double from the Are you setting up at 16? Did you do 20? Yeah. Did you do 20? For sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, I'm going to create this one. Each week this one. Can you use the cup? Unidos dos veces, 50 segundos de extracción, 50 segundos de extracción, pero como lo que hice fue colocar este portafiltro dos veces en la máquina, o sea, doble de presión, hace que el café se extraiga mejor. Pero obviamente el tiempo de extracción fueron 50 segundos, 82 mililitros de agua. Uh, el tiempo es un poco alto, por lo que el café quizás se haya quemado un poquito. 
no lo hemos probado, pero pues pueden ver que tiene mejor textura y mejor color. Yeah, 40. Obtuvimos eh, 20 gramos de café molido y obtuvimos una bebida de 40 gramos de, de espresso. What do you think, Vincent? It's nice, it has more sweetness. It gives a, it's definitely more sweetness, more acidity and more body. Even though the timing says it's way over, we don't need to uh, worry too much about the timing. We're just chasing the tasting profile. If you're chasing the time, then you will miss some uh, compounds that you might find if you just do a blind, blind tasting. So mm. even though it's 50, um, the taste tells us that we need a lower, lower uh, dose with a longer yield and, and you find the similar flavor within the range of the, uh, of the average growing time. Because obviously, if you in a cafe that makes 200 to 300 coffees a day, and your busy period is quite intense, you don't want your coffee to be brewed at 50 seconds. Yeah, it takes you too long. You want to keep it short, and you want to be efficient as well. And without compromising on the taste, the quality of your coffee. So we know that we have more than 20 grams on this recipe. So if we bring it down. On the dosage, you obviously make everything lower, including the timing. So now we know that we're gonna dose less because it's not necessary to have that dose that high. Mm. And then we're gonna keep it down to 30 something. Okay, I'm gonna leave it down. It's almost here from the cup.